Thank you for joining me for our Wayside Devotional Online. Today we're going to look at one of David's psalms, Psalm 18. And David wrote this psalm as a praise to the Lord for the Lord's deliverance of David from the hand of his enemies. Reading in verses 1 and 2, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. You are my stronghold. David acknowledges that personal relationship he has with the Lord, who he calls Jehovah here, and that name Jehovah is the relational God. And he acknowledges that God's his source of strength. He can't go on. He can't go through a day without the Lord's strength. He's his Masada, the stronghold, that place he can run to for refuge. He's, you're my rock, that strong rock. You're my shield, my protector. And then David goes into verse three and he says, I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. Even in the midst of a difficult situation, David is now taking time to praise the Lord for his deliverance, and he's acknowledging that God is worthy to be praised. He's calling us into worship and praise. Dropping down to verse 6, we see, In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and I cried to my God for help. He heard my voice out of the temple, and my cry for help before him came into his ears. David knew that if he called to the Lord when he cried for help, that the Lord would hear him and he would respond. And I invite you to read verses 7 through verses 19 in chapter 18 of Psalm and look and imagine this vivid picture of creation that David paints, God's protection and his rescue for David And then in verse 19, he says, he rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord delights in his chosen ones. And that's just a thought that I would love for each of us to ponder today. Do you believe the Lord delights in you as a chosen son, a chosen daughter called by his name? He delights in you. Well, let's go down to the end of the chapter, and we see David states again in verse 48, he delivers me, you rescue me, and then in 49 he says, therefore, you are my deliverer, you are my rescuer, therefore, I will give thanks to you among the nations, O Lord, and I will sing praises to your name. David sees and realizes that the Lord is his deliverer, his rescuer. He's the one he should run to when he needs anything. And I ask myself, I pause and I ask myself and ask you to join me in this thought, where do I run? When I'm having a difficult day, when I'm having a a hard meeting or I've got uh, a difficult situation to deal with, where do I run for help? Do I run to the Lord? Am I like David and I say, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock. You're my refuge. You're my stronghold. David gives us an example and he challenges us that in the midst of life, let's call out to the Lord. Let's cry to him for help. And then as he answers and delivers us and rescues us and provides the strength and the shield that we need for today, that we will praise his name. I will give thanks to you among the nations.